Welcome to this video. I hope that you guys are gonna enjoy it. I worked really hard on it. So we're teaching you three dynamic range hacks. I wish that I known all these stuff before I started filmmaking. So without further ado, let's just strike it in to the first one. Before we do, just quick thing from our sponsor and me. Press the like button, please. I hope I need likes. Okay. Let's get on to the video. Okay, so what you see now is me with no lights on me. Lights are pointed that way. Crazy blown out background and ISO 50, shutter speed, low, like whatever, normal. And then we just have me. So I guess high, whatever it is, it's like one over 30 ish around there. So pretty much. I'm going to teach you guys how to fix this shot that's looking terrible. So here and to make that look better. So here is one of my lights. Hello. Great to see you. Here is another one of my lights. That is great. So you see, that is still blown out. I'm just blown out too. Great. You've done so much, right? Now here comes the fix. So what you're going to want to do is either make your shutter speed one over a thousand, whatever. And the problem that you're going to see with that is you're going to get a lot of flicker. If you're using lights that do flicker and you're not really perfecting the shutter and the frame rate, whatever. For me, the easiest way is to take one of these guys. Okay. It's a simple over there. I have a variable ND filter and now here. I can just play with it just like that to get a great looking shot and now it's not you know out and if I need to be even lower then let's say I can bring these lights closer if you have a controllable you no know, light with the power then you can add more power and then you add more light to yourself and then just lower it like the whole scene and now it's not blown out. Look, you can see all the detail out there. So that is a really good way, I think, at least to make, it's easy too, to make a shot look like you have crazy dynamic range. Just add in your light on your subject. Okay, now the next way that I'd advise you to do it is not advisable. <laughs> but what you can do, there's way two, what you can do is sort of block out the light from outside. So let's say you don't have much light. Let's say you only have a really small little LED light that won't give enough light to make you be able to put ND filter and take that guy out. Put a gel, like a, something that diffuses the light either inside or outside of the window or whatever is annoying you. And that will lower the light coming out. So then, you know, you'll be fixed. You won't have that problem. So. That's a possibility, that's a way. I'm not saying that that's my favorite way to do it, but that's definitely possible. You can buy some type of thing to put on it from outside or inside to diffuse the light. If you, if it's very blurry, you can put inside maybe, but if it's sharp, like over there, if you don't have a blurry background and it's in your background, you might want to do outside, just like cover the whole window in some type of jelly or something that's you know, paint, glass, that's darkened glass. So that's another option. Now, before we get to number three, I'd ask you guys to just leave your favorite idea of how to get more dynamic range, or if you guys have a technique to get dynamic range that I haven't talked about yet, leave it in the comments below. And don't forget to press that like button, please. Thank you, fish. Okay. Let's get to number three. Okay guys, so number three is a technique that I really like. It's special, it's unique, it's amazing, but it's interesting. <laughs> so let's sort of show you guys it. So I'm gonna take off that ND filter. Wow. Place it down there. I'm going to make my lights farther from me because I still don't wanna have like terrible quality. So it's just, okay. Don't break. Okay, that's not looking too bad. 
looking like a pretty good job, but still blown out. Well, what if I told you that I have the power to save it? Boom. Okay. So I'm not seeing it now on my uh, monitor, but you are. So what I did is I took this normal shot, okay? And then I took a shot with the ND filter or with a lower shutter speed or whatever shutter speed that makes it darker. And then what that's giving me is two shots from the same composition. I have it on a tripod, it doesn't move. And then I mask it out. So I'm gonna show you in DaVinci Resolve. You can use any editing software just for a second. So let's just jump into there. So here in DaVinci Resolve, you can do this in any editor, pretty much. Maybe not any, but Premiere, all the big ones, maybe also some small ones. I'll teach you a couple tips in here and how I did it. Just I want to show you here before, after, before, after. It's literally just night and day. Uh, yeah, so how did I do this? So I did a edit kind of thing, a cutout. So what I did here, look, I went here and you can see in this guy. First of all, I went like this, add alpha output, do that, and then I just want to take this guy and go straight like that, add alpha output, it won't do much, but then I need to go like this guy, build a mask, okay, I'll show you here how to build another mask, like this, okay, around your subject that's highlight that you want to get rid of, then you're going to want to press that, okay, you're going to want to be doing that here, so we built it around, we pressed this button, Okay, because if we don't press the button, it's going to be looking like this. So I'm going to press that button. We got rid of it. I added the softness. You want to play with it if you want to see it without the dots, just to see how it's going to look like that. So it doesn't look too good, too bad, whatever it is. Okay, so here I can see even I have the slightest little thing, little problem. So I'm just going to sort of elevate that. Uh, uh, perfecto. Perfect. So then... This guy, I don't think they did anything here. Technically, you don't really need him. Boom, all that in this guy, okay? And then that's all you really need for this part of it, okay? And then you're gonna want your clean plate, but the problem is, if we see this guy, it's a pretty short little clip of a less exposed shot. See over there, it's very short can't expand it what am I supposed to do so you go here to a piece of it that you like for me the first frame it's great speed freeze frame boom change now it's a picture very easy to play with so you're just gonna bring this guy up put this guy under and literally that's giving you a great shot already now okay look at it it looks good there is still a small difference between this guy and this guy, and I don't know if you can see, I just added some blur. I think that the blur makes it look a bit more realistic because in this shot over here, I focused on the background. So this one wasn't focused. In this shot though, if you see without, <laughs> if you see with, so this shot before, you can see it was still a, little blip, a bit blurry. It was also blown out, but also a bit blurry. So I tried to sort of get that, how did I do it? Very simple. And just go here add over here go to this one okay you want to be on the empty plate shot and just add some blur now you could make it like that but that won't look good you need to make it a resemblance of the shot so that looks really good look at that dynamic range so it can look a bit odd with like the moving part but i'm pretty sure that you know, unless you see it side by side like this, you see it changes a bit the composition, but like this, it looks totally normal. So that's the edit part. Let's get back to the video. Okay, wow, that was amazing. That's our third method. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out. Who says that? Come on, peace.